Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is topic 11 of the extension series. In this topic, we'll reconsider the standard three no trump opening I explained in the Learn to Play series. Let's start by recalling the standard three no trump opening rule. As with all standard no trump opening bids, you need a balanced hand. And to open three no trump, you need 25 to 27 high card points. There's nothing inherently wrong with this bid. The obvious question is, why are we reconsidering it? There are two reasons. First, it is extremely rare for a hand to meet these requirements. In fact, less than one hand in 10,000 will have 25 or more high card points. And second, after this opening game bid, there is often no bidding room. This can lead to playing the wrong contract. Let's look at an example of this. This is board EB1. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 25 high card points and one long point for a total of 26 points. Your only short suit is a doubleton, so your hand is balanced. And your only biddable suit is spades. As always, you first look for a no trump opening. You meet the requirements outlined earlier and bid three no trump. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is three no trump by south. You are declarer and partner is dummy. West leads to the first trick. West leads the Queen of Hearts, and partner places their hand face up on the table. You examine the situation. Dummy is disappointing. You check the opening lead. It looks helpful, giving you a seventh certain trick. But you need two more tricks to make your contract. These can only come from establishing the spade suit. You have a plan and put it into action. You call for the four of hearts from dummy. East plays the two and you play the king to win the trick. You now have control and begin to establish the spades. You lead the ace. West plays the five of spades. You call for the two from dummy and East plays the nine. There are only two spades outstanding. You need each of your opponents to have one. You lead the king of spades and West plays the two of clubs. This dooms your contract. Your opponents will win one trick with the queen of spades and at least four tricks in hearts. Unless they play extremely poorly, you will go down at least one trick. You look again at the hands. You know exactly what went wrong. You were in the wrong contract. You should be playing four spades instead of three no trump. But after a three no trump opening, there is no sensible way you could reach four spades. So what do you do? The first part of the answer is obvious. Don't open three no trump. You should open two clubs instead. Let's see exactly how to do this by playing the board again. This time, you open two clubs. West passes. Partner can't pass a two club opening. They make a conventional weak response of two diamonds. And East passes. 
It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows a maximum of seven points. In the Learn to Play series, you learned that the standard bid in this situation is two spades. But that was with as few as 22 points. With 25 or more points, you need to ensure a game contract. You show your long major suit and strong hand with a jump bid of three spades. And West passes. After your jump bid, partner cannot pass. With a spade fit, partner will bid game in spades, and without a fit, they will bid three no trump. You saw a partner's hand earlier and know that it contains four spades. Partner has a fit and bids four spades. East passes, you pass, and West passes to end the auction. Your two club opening left enough bidding room to find a better contract. Four spades by South. Let's take another look at Dummy to check that this really is a better contract. This time you have several advantages. For example, your spades will prevent your opponents from running their heart suit. You can also rough the third club trick in Dummy, gaining an entry to Dummy at the same time. With good play, you should make the contract. Opening strong balanced hands with two clubs instead of three no trump changes the rules of your bidding system. First, it slightly simplifies the rules. All hands with 22 or more points are now opened two clubs. Second, it changes some rebids after opener bids two clubs and responder bids two diamonds. A jump rebid of three spades is forcing and shows 25 or more points and five or more spades. A jump rebid of three hearts is forcing and shows 25 or more points and five or more hearts. And a jump rebid of three no trump shows a balanced hand with 25 or more points and denies a long major suit. There are some implications to these changes. First, you must change your system card. This means deleting the entry for opening three no trump, which is now not used. Second, it means that the opening bid of three no trump is available for some other purpose. In the next episode, I will show you the most common way to use the three no trump opening. And third, while not strictly necessary, you should always discuss and agree changes with partner. Opening strong balanced hands with a two club bid is fully compatible with everything else I have explained on this channel. And it has no negative implications for your bidding system. Making this change will only improve your bridge results. I highly recommend that you adopt it as soon as your partnership is ready. This video revisited the standard opening bid of three no trump. It showed how replacing it with a two club opening bid is better. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that bridge is for everyone.